Vacant homes with code violations and hazards can seriously devalue an entire neighborhood. The same can be said about businesses that suddenly become eyesores. In fact, the city of Parma fined a gas station five grand after it says the property became potentially hazardous. Five on your side, troubleshooter Joe Paganakis is here with more. Lee, Chris, cities like Parma are cracking down on unruly homes and businesses hoping to preserve property values. That's why News Channel 5 is asking residents to report unruly vacant homes through our Building Better Neighborhoods initiative. Because when the city tells you to clean it up, it's clean it up. Parma Municipal Judge Tim Gilligan says his city is getting tough on code violations like these at this marathon gas station at the corner of State and Pleasant Valley Road. Pictures taken by the Parma Prosecutor's Office showing a potentially hazardous construction site. An open wound, Judge Gilligan says, endangered customers for more than a year. You can see where the fence is knocked down, there's big open holes. Uh, it, was, it was so long that some of these pictures show where there's reefs growing and they actually put an owl, they actually put an owl down in here to keep uh, ducks from landing. Judge Gilligan responded by issuing gas station owner Prime Properties LTD a $5,000 fine. A fine prosecutors say Prime Properties had plenty of chances to avoid. Tried to work it out with them over a year before they were cited uh, and after they were cited they still really weren't, were not complying at all. Meanwhile, in the past several months, Parma prosecutors say ownership here at this gas station has been cooperative, taking care of the massive holes and restoring gasoline service. However, this gas station has until January 27th to pay off the massive $5,000 fine. Now, Prime Properties told News Channel 5 the construction delays to replace leaking fuel storage tanks were caused by the size of the job and its $300,000 price tag. Still, the city of Parma vows to stay tough on code violations at both businesses and homes. Now, you can report vacant and condemned homes to News Channel 5's Building Better Neighborhoods. Log on to Newsnet5.com to find out how you can help us look into the problems caused by abandoned homes with code violations. If you have one on your block, send an email to bbn at wews.com or send pictures and the addresses of vacant homes to my troubleshooter Facebook or Twitter pages at Joe on your side. I'm troubleshooter Joe Paganakis.